Oh, 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 the farming ticks have been fixed. So I'm not going to explain how they did it because I don't know, dude. They've written a new tick system for when, uh, for how farming stuff would grow. Basically, before if you logged out on a farming tick, it would reset that tick. And in the case of hardwood patches, where it takes 640 minutes for one tick, if you logged out on that one tick, that's a lot of time just gone. They rewrite it. So if you log out, it won't interrupt the uh, farming tick or as much as it would beforehand. So now when you go on your herb run every 80 minutes, those herbs will be done within. 80 minutes or like on 80 minutes even if you logged out on a farming tick since if you logged out on a farming tick that one of those ticks would have been reset and it would take 100 minutes or like between 80 and 100 minutes so so with that out of the way let's get on with the rest of the stuff so first of all dig side pendant where is it there it is now bam right click option before you have to right click then press like rub or like interact or whatever but now there's a right click menu which is very nice let's go to fossil island if we just head over to the mushroom meadows and we start hunting a herbivore just search this tunnel so if we come to the end of this track of the herbivore we'll see that the left click option of this tunnel is attack and before it would default to search to be uh, the left click option so the one at the top but if you get to the last one the left click option is now attack so it's like easy you don't have to right click as much and quick harvest him oh, we got equipped that there we go what we get a guam leaf and lantern, nice man. And uh, yeah, so that's nice. Here, look, mahogany trees. And on the jar generator, they just switched around the butterfly jar and the impling jar. So now the left click option is an impling jar, and the right click is a butterfly jar. The other, um, bef obviously, before it was the other way around. And let's just head to the tree known village real quick because I have a tree that is dead there. So let me just clear this patch for demonstration purposes. So you wanna, you want a fertile soil where you get a patch, but you got no volcanic ash. You don't have two volcanic ash. So before it would do this to you every time if you had the upgrade, so you bought it, and then you tried to fertile a patch. Um, without the volcanic ash, meaning you'd get the super compost version, not the ultra compost version, then it would always ask you this. But now you've got an option to say proceed with non upgrade spell and don't ask me again. In case you're an Iron Man, you don't want to collect volcanic ash or whatever the reason is. So that's nice, so it doesn't ask you every time. Hit the Taibo Huanai village real quick and we just go to the. Hey, it's right here. So this is like quite a disgusting buff because, like, pretty sure Kuan ones were already like really good for Iron Man because you get them so quick, but now you can catch the bait even quicker. Actually, for Iron Man, I think they bought it from a shop. But anyway, so if we net the fishing spot, now you catch two Kuramwani, or whatever they're called, at five fishing, and then every five fishing levels above that, you catch an additional Kuramwani, blah, 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 blah. Uh, So uh, yeah, so I'm catching 20 at a time. That's OP, dude. So I'm thinking this is faster than buying them from a shop for Iron Man. If you're not in that fishing, of course. Uh, yeah, that's so nice, dude. 140 Kuramwani's in a few seconds. Here, see, see this scroll of redirection right here? Bam. Before, there would be an ugly little like dialogue box be down here, rather than up here and you'd have to go like click next to go to the next page to see the other half of the teleport so now you could just uh, nicely nicely do that with that nice little interface very nice frogs look at all these frogs where have we talked to this leprechaun right here uh now you can store plant cures in him buckets in him and you can also store up to a thousand of each at like compost so you got a thousand buckets a thousand normal compost a thousand super compost a thousand ultra compost to store plant cures that's been such a needed thing forever he never was able to do it and it was so annoying plants would die and you'd be like oh i need to go to the gathery store and buy some plant cures but now you can just store some in in fact, I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so and just slap him in there, bam. See this bucket? I'm gonna steal it and put it in my leprechaun. Now let's head to the Tower of Life, digip. Just gonna go in here and head to the basement. If you don't know what's in the basement, you can create like uh, weird looking stuff down here. So let me go to the right altar real quick. And so if you're not familiar with this place, it was a uh, get out of here. It was very popular in earlier seven because you could turn one cowhide and one unicorn horn into uh, like many because this is what you do. But first, let me tell you what they changed. So before you'd have to manually use the unicorn horn and or whatever ingredient you're using depending on which altar you're at. You'd have to use them manually on the altar, but now you can just click activate and then it just automatically puts them in and then it starts the creation and I've got a uni cow. Oak. Oh man. And he's dead. Then you get some noted unicorn horns and then some tea flasks. Nice. So yeah, so you'd bring an inventory of cow hides and then just get lots of unicorn horns from it. So it was very popular earlier seven, obviously for the monies. Uh, yes, and that's just slightly easier to uh, to do. And then we just head into this here cow fight cave. You don't know where this is. This is just the, uh, the task only cow fight slayer area. And if we just, uh, we just run on in here and try to attack one of these soldiers, Soldiers, he'll say woo woo. Basically, he's telling me not to uh, not to attack them. But before, he would say that every time you tried to attack them. So you can imagine, if you had a cannon set up here, it was constantly spinning and constantly trying to attack the uh, cow fights, and it constantly spammed you with a message, so you wouldn't be able to pick up the cannon unless you clicked really fast. And it was sort of annoying. But now he only tells you to stop every 30 seconds rather than every time you tried to attack. There we go. So then that's 30 seconds gone, and then he tells me again. So uh, yeah, that's nice. So you can actually do stuff when uh, when he's telling you not to kill all your stuff because you're not on task. So they have completely reworked the 
uh, this crossbow bolt interface so now how about for you to click on it and an ugly huge interface would appear right here saying like all the bolts and what the runes required and all that so I have 12 ruby bolts on me if I had none it would simply say you have no bolts to enchant but if we pick those bolts back up and now we hit crossbow bolt enchant oh look at this we got a nice sexy menu the one that they used um, a while ago for um, fletching bows and stuff and then we click on it oh but we don't have the runes but now we have the runes now we hit that we hit that we go 10 bam 10 of them done then we try again but this time with two bolts again it will do it will use all of your runes but like it just enchants all two so make sure you have uh, sets of 10 to use your runes at maximum uh, efficiency or like not to waste them see how fast i'm doing this that was easy. Those last three or four enchants, I did them really fast. So right, let's try that. I throw still with me. So let's see, how much did this cost? I just want a quick experiment because this might be some decent monies. So 33k and 50 GP. And then we start spamming one, then we click. Oh, I did so good. So now how much are we getting here? So now let's just throw these back to the G. See, was that was a pretty fast XP and it might be actually quite cheap as well. 31k, so that, that cost me 3k for 590 XP in like, I don't know how long that was. What was that, like 10 ticks? I don't know. I don't know, you, you do what you will with the, that maths. Uh, it's probably, probably some pretty good XP. It's probably quite expensive actually. Anyway, so that interface is the same for leather. So right here, we've got a leather body. That's actually a bit of a bad example. Hold on. Here we go, that's better. Now look, so I've got three. So whatever you can make it will appear on the interface. So at one two and three so we just hit three bam or two sorry that make make the van braces man and the same is true for molten glass uh yeah so you just uh yeah make some uh let's make some torsion orbs bam look i can add that to my uh add that to my light orb collection now let's head to the mummy at the, the, the pyramid plunder say so i want to uh i want to charge or remove charges from my scepter it is done <gasps> you removed all my charges now why you want to do this i guess if you want to sell it without just spamming the teleports because it's sort of easier and also you might have noticed noted stone scarabs so now you can uh so i want to charge or remove them you shouldn't have to think in the first place uh stone artifacts so this seems to actually be bugged right now i'm sorry about this i didn't stone artifacts he says that i don't have them but i have 12 of them right there oh well so uh, i'm not lying it does say in the uh, in the patch notes that you can recharge the scepter with um with noted artifacts which are artifacts which you get from this mini game and i have 12 noted stone artifacts which is the amount you need to recharge it but he doesn't want to he doesn't want to recharge my stuff but this is this is meant to work so i'm sure they'll fix it at some point so it'll work in the future i guess and lastly fed up of those jagex announcements when they say that they're going live to the q a or whatever now if you hit clear history it clears their broadcasts as well so that's nice before it wouldn't clear the broadcasts oh let's just give uh, mr Walk out a little, uh, little visit. Just, just give him a little poke. Uh, the fight isn't what I want to show you. What I want to show you is though, I can drop a manta ray, and now it will stay there for 30 minutes. So that's nice. So much like grotesque guardians, if you drop something on the, in the instance, it will stay there for 30 minutes rather than disappearing after two minutes. What do you think, boys? If I just hide as a bush, do you think it will fall in? Nope. Alright, let's run before we die. Oh no, my manta ray. Other than that, Din's Bulwark was bugged, so you'd get the damage reduction even if you weren't in defensive mode. That's been fixed. And then just a few grammar fixes in various quests. Other than that, that is, uh, I don't mean other than that, that is just, that is everything. And uh, if you haven't watched my Valentine's special video, you should definitely go give that a watch. It's got some very, very overwhelmingly positive feedback, for sure. Very, very good out of 10. You would definitely give that a watch. That was my last video. And Bossing with a new, probably out next week. Unless something else comes up, then it'll be the week after. But don't worry about it. Bossing with a noob soon, dude. And uh, yeah, that is, that is, that's it for this, uh, this video.